Hello there everyone, welcome back to my channel, beautiful, how are you doing today? In today's video I wanted to take a bit of a deep dive look into the new trailer for the Stranger of Paradise DLC that's coming at the end of January. So Different Future here is the third DLC package that we have coming with Stranger of Paradise on sale January 27th and we had a brand new trailer for it and I thought I'd take you guys through my thoughts on it and what I think is going to come out of this because there might be some future in the Dissidia franchise that comes from this trailer and I'd like to kind of share my thoughts on it with you. So if that's something that interests you, then stay tuned and keep on watching. Before we get started, of course, don't forget to check out all of my social media links down below, including Twitter, Twitch, Discord, and Patreon. I am currently still working part-time over the Christmas period, so I haven't been streaming quite as much in recent weeks. But in the new year, I have some very exciting things that are coming up, and I'm hoping that it's going to be something that's going to broaden my horizons as a content creator pretty greatly. So that's going to be stuff that's there to look forward to. Over on Patreon as well, I do always shout out one of my patrons every time I release a video so that I can show my appreciation to each and every one of you guys that continues to support this channel because it means such a great deal to me. And today that person is going to be Tsung Su, who has Kate Sith as their title cut. So a massive thank you goes out to you and to everyone that supports the channel. It means the absolute world to me. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take a look at the trailer from the beginning and go through the entire thing and then we're going to sort of, I'm going to, I have seen the trailer once already but I'm going to just pause on p bits I find are going to be particularly poignant. I've played through all of Strange of Paradise but I haven't finished the second DLC but trust and believe I'm going to want to get finished this before this comes out because I think there's going to be some very interesting developments that come from it. Now the first thing I want you to take note of is the font used here for Different Future which is the name of the DLC. This should look familiar to anyone who's a fan of the franchise as a whole because this is the same font that is used for the title for Final Fantasy 2. So that's the first hint that you've got here when it comes to what could come out of this. But also when I've seen Different Future presented previously, the NT in Different was always presented in capital letters which I also found very interesting given the name of the title Dissidia Final Fantasy NT which was a game that we've played a fair amount. It wasn't the most well-loved Dissidia game, but it was still, like, I actually really enjoyed it. A lot of people know me for Dissidia Opera Omnia, but I actually really liked NT a lot as well, and I actually really like the PSP games too. So, now that we know that, let's go back to the beginning and take a look at what we have here. So we're gonna stop it right pretty quickly into this video. This is the Dissidia Moogle, like straight up. There are different variations of Moogles. Obviously, we've seen so many different Moogles and so many different Final Fantasy games. But this is most definitely the Final Fantasy or the Dissidia Final Fantasy Moogle. And you'll also hear that through his voice as well. Also, this music is this music is my jam. I'm here for this. What the heck is this thing? I'm a Moogle, Koopa. Again. The voice there, definitely Dissidia Moogle, which makes me think that this has come through from the Dissidia universe. Now, I'm not being funny. Now, I, I'm as sick of the term multiverse as, the, as anybody, but I think in this particular situation, if it's going to lead to a potential future for the Dissidia franchise, then I'm kind of excited for it. Now, if you've played the original PSP Dissidias, you'll know that Chaos was a big part of those games. So, you had Chaos, who was one of the primary bosses, as like, alongside Cosmos in the PSP ones, and then Feral Chaos. But, neither Chaos nor Cosmos were present in Dissidia Final Fantasy NT. So, that's a really interesting development, and then maybe Jack Garland will kind of play some sort of role in looping into the original Dissidias, where he is that game's Chaos. Because let's face it, Final Fantasy 1 is a time loop in and of itself. It's okay for it to be a bit screwy with timelines, etc. Someone's attempting to meddle with this dimension. And not just meddle. They want to erase it for good, Kubo. Again, if you've played the Dissidia games, you'll know that this is a prominent story arc of the Dissidia games. Like, each character's kind of worlds being kind of devoured and 
erased from existence in favour of the Dissidia franchise's worlds instead. So, this is definitely all leading into the Dissidia, like, arc. Let me guess. Lufenian. Also, these Lufenians are looking pretty... I'm kind of living for the Lufenian vibe. This dimension is hurtling toward a terrible future, but I'm here to set it back on course to the... Also, this job here is pretty cool. It's it's giving Jack a gun at last, like because there are no guns in in Stranger of Paradise as of this point, and we've been getting new jobs with some of the DLC stuff. And honestly, this looks pretty pretty powerful. Mainly because like being able to attack at range like that, magic is a thing, obviously, but this could be very very strong, and it looks cool. you love so well and i'm wondering if maybe like this could be like sid of the lufane because sid of the lufane is a character that is alluded to a lot in both final fantasy one and dissidia but never actually seen so i'm wondering if this would turn out to be sid of the lufane although it could just be Lufe like generic lufenian a for all we know i'll be curious to see who this character is after all Darkness exists only to be banished by the light. Wouldn't you agree? Take note of the fact that the that Mog here is like very present in the story arc as well. There's a lot going on that has Mog front and center. So that's also quite interesting. Also, check the armor that Jack is wearing. That's actual Garland's armor, just without the helmet. It's about time that we got that in game, and you know, I'm I'm here for it. You think you're the light? <laughs> Get your head out of your ass. It's nice to know that Jack still has a potty mouth. Honestly, I really enjoy Jack Garland. I actually think that the way that they've taken him is a really cool way. Stranger Paradise is probably in my top ten games this year. Like, it's it it definitely what it like had its had its niggles, but I I definitely found that it was it was just a game that I really enjoyed. Now this bit's interesting. Right, so let's go back here a second. The voice, the boots, the font. This is almost certainly Emperor from Final Fantasy II. Which I am very excited about. Because I love the Emperor from FF2. I think he's my favourite character. Well, he's definitely my favourite early villain. Like, I like Jack Garland. So this could go one of two ways. Well, actually, it could go one of many ways. It might end up also becoming nothing. But maybe this is kind of the first instance of the Dissidia universe, where, like, the villains from different Final Fantasies are coming together. It could be a teaser for a Final Fantasy origin, a second one that's based on Final Fantasy II. Because as far as I know, Stranger Paradise was actually pretty successful, so I wouldn't be surprised to see a sequel to Stranger Paradise that's based around Final Fantasy 2 rather than 1, and bringing the Emperor into the fray in the same way that Garland has been made into Jack Garland. Though, Emperor, is a, Emperor Matthias is a lot more, like, clear-cut megalomaniac villain than Garland is, so I don't quite know how that would work. But also, it could just be a way of kind of signifying maybe a future for the Dissidia franchise, maybe there's something going on there, like, or they're going into the whole multiverse thing, especially with the Lufenians and stuff like that. They've already hinted at that kind of thing already. But I think that the fact that the Emperor is... Uh, I would be very shocked if this character was not Emperor Matthias from Final Fantasy II. So I'm very, very hyped to see what happens with that. I'm definitely excited to see if this has a future, because quite honestly, I'm... A little sad that the Dissidia franchise seems to be hanging on a string and that string's name is Dissidia Final Fantasy Opera Omnia, which is a mobile title. Now, obviously, I'm not throwing shade at it for being a mobile title. It's a game that like, I've like, built my you know YouTubing career off of in a lot of ways. But I do think it would be sad if the Dissidia franchise ended with Dissidia Opera Omnia, especially considering that Dissidia NT had so much potential and yet wasn't particularly well received when it finally released. So I would love to see something go in that direction and the presence of Mog and a character that's not from Final Fantasy 1 
present in the Final Fantasy 1 or the Stranger of Paradise kind of world makes me think that there could be a future in that. Or, like I said, a sequel to Stranger of Paradise that's taking on Final Fantasy 2 instead of 1. And this is very heavily... I don't think there's going to be any other characters from other Final Fantasies based on the fact that this, the different future here is very clearly in Final Fantasy 2's font. So I think that this is where the Stranger of Paradise Final Fantasy Origin is going to kind of end up. But I'm honestly excited just to see where it goes. I want to make sure I finish that DLC before this comes out. So that's all for today's video. I just wanted to do a little kind of read through of the trailer. It is only a teaser trailer and I imagine that another one will show up once we get sort of closer to January 27th here. But it's, I mean, there's so many releases from Square Enix and Final Fantasy over the next year that quite frankly, I could like make my channel completely Final Fantasy only and I'd have content to like draw from for Eon, so I'm not worried about that. But with this, with this particular entry, I thought it was a really interesting thing to touch on, considering my history with Dissidia, and obviously there being a clear tie to the Dissidia franchise with Mog and Emperor and all of that. But I'm curious as to what you guys think. Let's sound off in the comments below and let me know whether you think this is alluding to a sequel to Stranger Paradise, whether it's alluding to something related to Dissidia, or Maybe it's just nothing and it's just a cameo appearance from the Emperor. We obviously haven't seen much of Warrior of Light either in the like, Origin. We got him in the Trials of the Dragon King DLC. And maybe there's some more going on with that. It'd be quite cool to see Firion turn up if the Emperor is there as well. So yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click the bell for notifications of any future videos I might be making. And it's lovely to see you, so thank you very much for joining me. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care, beautiful. Have a lovely day.